When I first put these uh, casters on my bench, they look ugly. I'm not going to pretend they look nice, but the redeeming quality of them is they work so well, especially in a, a confined space. You've got your bench set up. You've not got quite enough room. You want to move something in or out. You can move your bench completely out of the way, which is why I like having them. I also like them because we're filming and this gets installed on the outside. It's a lever cam on here. So this actually sends the wheel down, makes contact with the fore and elevates the bench about half an inch above the floor surface. So you can roll it around very easily. It's got swivel casters on it and it works really well. So I'm going to, I've done the measurements on mine. They may vary with yours if you've got a different supplier or something like that. But I'm coming up for a hole here. I'm gonna drill a hole in here, 25 millimeters up from the bottom of the leg. And that represents the, the hole for the bottom hole that goes through the frame of the caster. So my start, I'm gonna put this in the middle of here. So I need this measurement for me. There's my center. Where's my center? Let me check myself. Yep. And I'm gonna drill a hole on that. I'm drilling a a pilot hole, even though I'm using a turbo charged with a, a um, screw with a, a washer on the top built into the head and a hex head, I'm still pre-drilling the hole. These uh, do drill themselves, but this makes it so much easier. that. So I'm going to put this one on. Now I've paired these. I took the bolts out because the bolts were all assembled the same way. They, these came out on the outside or outboard of the, the bench and stuck out that extra half inch and I wanted to get rid of that because I felt like it got in the way of the, the broom. What I'm going to do is drive this in without the wheel first. just to thread the hole and to make it easier for me when I drive it. Now you can take the, um, you can take the wheel off if you want to. I found that I could get it in if by swiveling that, I could get the head in just about. So it's entirely up to you. If you want to take the wheel off, this one's got lock washers on it but I could get it just about here. Should have preset that, shouldn't I? That's, that's one done. I'm gonna drill this one. not going for some reason. Let me try drilling this a little deeper. Ah. Something deep inside there was stopping it. Try again. Wow. That was great, wasn't it? And my next one. These work wonderfully, I must say. I have used them, I've tested them out for about 
maybe three or four years now. And I had used some prior to that, and I liked them on that first bench when I lived in the US, so. No issues with them as far as I ever experienced. Last one. And that's it. So I'm going to drop this down and see how we did. Now, when you do the other end, you may not be able to upend your bench because the wheels get in the way. So this works by pressing this. And press this one. And we are mobile. Gotta do the other end, and then it'll be wheelie beely all the way. Great. Mm -hmm.